Hello, hello, my lovely gems. Welcome to Vivid Vibration. My name is Christina. I hope that y'all are doing well. Gems. Oh, um, I started doing extended reads. I'm very, very excited. Uh, if you all do resonate with this uh, read and you'd like to dive in a little bit deeper, um, you know, please do uh, click the link in the description box below uh, for the extended read. Okay, gems. Y'all have the father in the desert, the box, and the vision. I mean, ooh, gems. This, you can be on either side of the story. These are general reads. Please do take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, but this feels very much like I can't get out of this. There's no way out. I mean, the desert is the idea of a mirage, right? You reach out to touch it and it's not there. Um, but I almost feel like that mirage is like, but you know why it's not there. You know why it won't work. You know why it never has. And then you have the vision. And I don't know because it just feels, I mean, this energy feels very different from that energy, you know? <laughs> and so it's just kind of like, I don't know where the transition is, but there's a transition. So whatever this sense of like disillusionment is, um, I think that you'll find your way through because I, I almost just want to say, you know, like the, the vision is the idea that you're going through. I mean, it's, it's off in the distance, right? <laughs> Um, you know, you have to, you have to go on that journey. Um, and in order to go on that journey, you have to, I just feel like you have to do it with intention. You know, the vision is just that idea of like, of, well, to me, I feel like the vision and, and the prayer are very much aligned because, you know, like you're praying for what you're manifesting for. I feel like the prayer is like what you're speaking over it. The, like the vision is what you were enacting over it. Um, and I, because I feel like whatever it is that this like thing is, this hurdle is, this feeling really stuck, feeling really like I, like I can't get out of this is, um, it's not the same energy as this. So let's do clarifiers. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> um, gems. Seven of Wands, oh gracious. Uh, six of Swords, a card I can't see because it fell on the floor. <laughs> okay, one second. Okay, we have the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Cups, the Six of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. Well, I mean, this is just being done with a lack, <laughs> you know, I mean, like finding your way out, um, you know, like there's nothing more like there, like you can't help but feel lack in situations like this. Like, where is there any, where is there anything that you're pulling that from? Unless you're siphoning it off of something else, but it's, if you're siphoning, it's not yours. And if you, if your siphon gets cut off, then what, you know what I mean? <laughs> And I just kind of feel like this, then you can't use a siphon. I don't know. <laughs> uh, the Knight of Cups is the idea of, uh, you know, it, it's a very like gentle card, honestly. It's just kind of like a, hey, let's go this way. You know, what I mean? it's not like a rushed card. There's no, you know, I feel like, like the Knight of Swords is usually a really like active card. And I feel like Knights are usually very, like energetic cards. This one is like the chill one of the nights to me anyways. Um, let's do clarifiers. Oh, you know, I had this stone just appear. I've just been having things like disappear and reappear lately. It's been a whole thing. Um, I have no idea what it is. It's so pretty though. It's like this really pretty blue. If anybody knows what it is, please tell me. <laughs> I'm using it to charge one of my decks. 
Um, okay, sorry. <laughs> Seven of Cups, Nine of Swords, Four of Cups, Seven of Wands. <sighs> yeah, I don't know, you guys, because it just, there is, there's this feeling of lack. There's feeling of like, always feeling like you're missing out. Feeling like you don't trust any direction that you can go. And everything always seems like it's better everywhere else than where you actually are. What an awful feeling. <laughs> like, I, I have, I have sympathy for that. I think is the one that I want to use, you know, like I, I don't empathize with it, but I, I just, that, like that, that doesn't feel easy. It, it does feel confining. It does feel restricting. It does feel like you can't really get anywhere, like you're stuck. Um, and you're always just kind of like wishing you were on the other side of the fence, but wow, you know, like, I don't know, like what, What an, what an awful way to feel and what an awful way to make everyone around you feel too. I think of an example from like a million and 10 years ago in my life, once upon a time when I was married and the boys were really little and we were at, at the zoos and the museums and the parks and everywhere always. And on occasion, you know, like my husband would come with us, but he was always either 50 feet in front of us or 50 feet behind us. He literally never walked with us anywhere. He literally never engaged in any of the, he never wanted to be around us. You know what I mean? Like he, he was angry with us for, for our, for our existence and treated us with resentment, but, but then was like, but I'm here. You know what I mean? And it just kind of feels like like you have been in an energy of just either feeling like you are being resented for your presence or somebody feels like you've made them feel that way. Like, like you just resent me for being like, like what, what the fuck did I do to you? You know what I mean? I don't know. And that's how I always felt towards, you know, <laughs> him in that situation, because it was like, I like, sorry for having two beautiful children with you, you know, like, sorry for loving them infinitely, you know, <laughs> like, sorry for trying to want to build a life with you. Like my bad, my bad, you know what I mean? But like, that's what that feels like. Like you always wish that you were somewhere else. Well, if you always wish that you're somewhere else, then go be somewhere else. And then when you're somewhere else, it's like, well, why do you want to be like, now you want to be around now? You, you know what I mean? It just kind of feels like this like you're damned if you do damned if you if you don't because you never wanted to be around in the first place you know like why do you think i'm gonna let you be around now um kind of energy because like quite frankly there's an exit um and i don't know how that'll resonate for you because that could be in a relationship it could be that you guys are experiencing a separation where you just feel like you never wanted to be around me in the first place anyways. You know what I mean? Like all you ever did was hate me. <laughs> like, like what the fuck do you want from me? You know what I mean? Um, and I just kind of feel like when you're dealing with people like that, the only thing you can do is leave because they don't want you around. They want control of you. You know, they just want to be able to, to dictate you and tell you what to do because people who love you do not treat you that way. People who love you want you to be around. They're excited to see you. They like engage in conversations with you. That's why you like you have friends versus acquaintances because my friends are people who I actually want to be around who actually, you know, like engage in creative conversation and dreaming and you know what I mean versus acquaintances who I'm like well maybe I have to pass you in like public on occasion but like I don't you know what I mean and I can be kind about it you know like hi hello from over here <laughs> you know what I mean and then you have people who you just flat out don't fuck with you know what I mean but they're like they're just I feel like there's there's been this idea of being in a relationship with somebody who you, who like, who you don't fuck with. And it's like, then why are you in this relationship? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, then go, then go. 
and I feel like there there is a sense of like okay I'm, I'm going <laughs> like, go do what you want to do go be where you really want to be then you know what I mean like I don't know like what are you doing just holding on being loyal to something that you don't even like resentfully there's so much resentment and that duty, that duty, you know what I mean? And it's like, no wonder you resent it so much, my God. And if you resent somebody, it's healthier to let everyone go in a direction where they can actually start to engage with a life that they love. And it, it like, and it's, and it's beneficial for everyone who does that. When people stay in those toxic relationships with people, because like what you said, you love me, but really you treat me like shit. So now I'm just supposed to believe that you love me. Do you know what I mean? Like you don't love me. You don't love yourself. Go learn how to love yourself. Then you'll find somebody who you love. You know what I mean? And you'll actually be able to love them, but you cannot do that when you carry all of this. I feel like shame, I feel like guilt. I don't know, I just feel like, like there's somebody who just like wants to go hide behind the corner. And I don't know if you are in that energy or if you're dealing with somebody in that energy, but I just, I feel like this is like a, like a come to Jesus conversation. And I'm sorry, Jims, I don't like, I'm not, angry or I, you know what I mean <laughs> like if you feel like I'm being angry with you I just feel like there's a like a lot of energy behind this this read of just I mean because the father of the box in the desert this is the idea of like being dropped on your face and feeling really stuck and feeling like whatever it was that you thought was real isn't isn't actually real and then having to really understand you know like why why doesn't it feel real and it was in somebody else's read too. I don't remember who. I want to say maybe my Pisces read. Maybe y'all are dealing with the Pisces or you have you have Pisces in your chart because there's almost this feeling of like ending a relationship. And I and I feel like possibly like going toward another relationship. Um and I and this because this like the aggression of the energy that I'm feeling right now feels very much directed in this like argument while this feels like a completely different energy um okay so let's do clarifiers um if this read does not resonate with you um you know please do leave it for who it resonates with uh, you know, these are general reads. If you would like to book a personal read, you can click the link in the description box below. Um, and if this does resonate with you, definitely um, come join me in the extended because this feels like there's a lot of emotion behind this read. Um, you know, and I feel like there's probably a whole lot more to be said about this. Um, but let's see what this one is. We've got the Eight of Cups, the Magician, and the Seven of Swords. Yeah. Again, that's like walking away from the battles because this does, it feels like a, like a very battle energy. And I don't know where the vision is going, but I do know that whenever it is that you make this, like this decision, um, you know, you, you do really seem to have a direction that you already want to go in. You already seem pretty, pretty prepared <laughs> for the, for the direction you're going to go in. And I just kind of get the feeling that, you know, you're sometimes and I know I get it your magic what does that mean well I mean your magic is, is like your your energy feels your field your energy force and so you know like we can and we we do embody and like an electromagnetic field that involves and like an energy source okay right you with me <laughs> and if you harness that energy source you are able to like intensify um you know things that you create and i just kind of feel like there is this sense of like a fuel like a fueled harness of of an intense energy because all of that feels like an intense energy of like 
frustration and you know like and feeling stuck and feeling you know like it doesn't have the destroyer card but it does kind of like low-key have a destroyer energy because there's just like this uh, you know and then leaving and then just going you know and then like when you go you're like okay like well now I'm gonna go maybe you have been resenting somebody because you wanted to be somewhere else because you had someone else who you wanted to be with and the person that you were with wasn't like they like they were kind of obnoxious they were kind of annoying nobody really liked them you know what I mean and and I feel like I don't know that like there's just this like the more you're like the more you're with this person and and for whatever reason when you're with this person all of these other people want to come and be around and everybody wants to talk to you but when you're with this person nobody like nobody wants to hang out with you nobody wants to talk to you you know what I mean like it's like their energy is like uh you know and and yet you're loyal to this person and you're going to be with this person and, da, 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 and everybody just kind of starts to fall off because well I mean, if that's what you want to be loyal to, sure, you know, but like, I certainly hope that you did not expect for me to be loyal to that, <laughs> you know, like, uh, ski <laughs> you know, um, you know, and, and then get mad at me for it or, you know what I mean? Because I just feel like these battles, you know, and it's like, I'm like, bitch, you better step. <laughs> I don't think you realize what you're doing right now. Um, you know, and I feel like you just like, you felt like you were in battle mode and now you have this, like, instead of feeling like you're in battle mode with, with the world, I almost feel like this battle mode with myself because I'm the one who, who did all of that. And then that kind of energy then like fuels that energy source that you're pulling on and is focused in a direction where you can actually do something useful with your energy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> because it, there is that sense of like, people get tired of, of dealing with, I don't know, because toxic relation, like a toxic relationship is just what I'm in right now. And and I feel like toxic relationships, like I know there are some gems and they've got businesses and their business partners have straight up cut them off. And so I'm sorry, I can't work with you any longer because like you, like your relationship is so unhealthy that it's touching everything in your life. Um, and you see that with, with toxic relationships, the relationships become so unhealthy that the, that the nasty touches everyone around them and then everyone around them disappears. And they want to be like, nobody really, you know, like, like create whatever scenario around it that they want to. Um, but they end up isolated. They end up alone and they end up presenting each other. And it's sad. I don't think that you want to have that that type of existence I don't think that you want to have that kind of energy um, and I think that for whatever reason it's taken you um, a long time to because I, I feel like this idea of like the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence um, and if the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence then you're never happy with where you're at and and sometimes you need to stay on your side of the fence and you need to really experience what that fence look like what that side of the fence looks like and really understand it for what it is before you're gonna really be even anybody worth having a conversation with you know what I mean ultimately you know <laughs> the storm the gem and nauseous well because again it's just that idea of like when there's all that confusion when there's all that toxicity you know the reality of it is is that nobody really wants like that that the value is is hidden um and you have to figure out why because is it me is it that i don't have that value because it's another thing that people ask themselves when they're in toxic relationships is it me no bb because the second you drop that person all your friends are always back again because i have a feeling you you have a propensity towards toxic relationships no judgment just an acknowledgement <laughs> you know what i mean but it's just kind of like, and, and that's for whoever needed to hear that. Not for everyone here, obviously. 
general reads. <laughs> Um, but you know, like the aggression that this comes with, you know, the frustration and there are, there are people who are very, very passionate and they're going to be passionate with what they say. But passion and drama are not interchangeable. And there are some dumb fuckers out there who like to pretend like they are, you know, and it's just kind of like, no, your drama, you like your petty drama is still petty drama. My passion is, is not comparable to you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you couldn't even stand up to that. And that's just one facet of who I am, right? I mean, it's just kind of like, like there's so much value here. And, and yet it was muddled with a lot of confusion. It was muddled with a lot of, you know, fear and, and I don't know, just like indecision and lack. And it's just kind of like, well, you know, if that's the energy that you exist in, then no wonder you feel stuck. No wonder you feel like your value isn't being seen. Um, you know, and maybe you should really take that energy of that passion that you're feeling and, and harness it in a direction that you really want to go because you need to get away from that energy. You need an energy cleanse. And I say that like with love, not judgment. <laughs> And how can you cleanse your energy? There are so many ways. Go out, like grounding is such an easy, it's free. You go outside, put your feet in, in the, you know, in the sand or the grass or, you know, like wherever you're at in the creek and the water, you know, like, like connect with nature and just breathe, you know. Um, you can do self massage, you know, like massage. There are a lot of pressure points on the bottom of your feet, you know, massage your feet go. This is, I love walking on the Creek beds, um, you know, with all of the big stones because it's literally like reflexology. You were just like releasing like the stresses in your body and your, you know, like it's good for your kidneys and your liver and your heart. You know what I mean? Like, it's just so good to just walk on the Creek bed. <laughs> you know what I mean? There are lots of ways to ground yourself. Um, and to cleanse your energy. Um, you don't have to pay anybody to do that. <laughs> um, you know, you can do it of your own accord. And, um, and I feel like just like, just do that and then harness that energy, harness that magic and, and point it in the direction that you want to go because there is a direction that you want to go and it does have a lot of value, you know, and you can't, you can't do that when you're dragging toxicity along with you because if if it's poisonous you like you can't I I think that there is always this mentality to a lot of people of like well oh well I'll consume their poison and they're like I know I know they're not healthy I know that this isn't a good relationship I know that it's da, 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 da. but I like I can handle it I can deal with it and it's like you, you're basically saying, I can drink all of this poison and it won't get, touch anybody else. I'll, I'll poison myself on behalf of this person. One, nobody has respect for that person immediately because what kind of person says that they love someone and then poisons them to death? Two, nobody has respect for that person like nobody wants that person around because they're full of poison. And so now every time they speak, they speak with poison. They speak with nasty. They like you like they are now oozing nasty. They have become the nasty that they have consumed. So do, like nobody wants to like, it's, it's toxic and it's poisonous and it will touch anyone that it like that it touches. And you're either the type of person who says, I'll consume the poison, you know, or you're the type of person who's like, no, you're poisonous. Get all the way the way, like get all the way the fuck away from me. Why are you trying to come at me with your poison? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And I feel like maybe there's been this flushing of a poison within your system. And now you feel, I don't know, almost this sense of like, because there's a lot of energy backed with this read. I'm feeling very like okay, you know what I mean? Like, I'm ready to go. I've got things to do. I'm, you know, like, I understand my value. I did it, da, da, da. Um, you know, and, and there is a little bit of, of, like that fuels a little bit of anger, you know, and whatever, allow your anger to fuel you do whatever it is that you need to do to harness that energy to move your like move yourself in the direction that you need to go because the poison needs to end the poison cannot like you cannot continue to poison yourself telling everyone else that it's okay, you'll drink the poison. 
so now we have two poisonous people instead of just one. It spreads until that person finds somebody who says, okay, 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 I know you're doing it. You're doing all this yourself. Let me drink that poison too. So you don't have to drink it alone. And now we've got three people who are poisoned instead of one. Poison spreads. Um, and I feel like you're stopping the poison you're no longer drinking the poison and you're going in a direction that you can go in that you couldn't go in before because you are full of poison or gems you're dealing with somebody who you're letting in that you didn't let in before because they were full of poison you know i mean it can resonate in so many different ways so definitely do with it what you will um either way this is definitely an intense read thank you the 25 minutes long thank you so much for spending some time with me though if you do want to dive into this a little bit more i know this is a way longer read than normal um you know then please do join me in the extended read um where we will explore a little bit more with this because i feel like we were definitely in the land of the poison and not so much in the vision maybe we can we can figure out a little more of the good <laughs> um, now that we've figured out the bad. Okay, gems. Well, if this does resonate with you, please do give me a like, share, and subscribe. Like I said, if you'd like to enjoy me, join me for the extended, the link in the, is in the description box below, as well as the link for a personal read. If you would like to book a personal read with me, as these are general reads and they will not be able to resonate with everyone in every way possible. Um, but yeah, Either way, thank you so much for spending some time with me. Please do give me a like, share, and subscribe, and I will see y'all again soon. Bye.